All right, here we go. You got your Gigi Allen shirt on. I do. You know, he used to throw poo poo at people. I know. Oh, here's a question I we had. I to throw poop on you. <laughs> here's a question we had yesterday. Don't pause. Here's a question we had yesterday. Listen to my question. No. If you could choose any band from any period of time to go on tour with, to hang out with while they went on tour, what band would it be? What band would it be? Or what act would it be? God. I God, said who? immediately, I said Led Zeppelin. Because they hear they were like totally crazy. and they were like, I know, that's where I was going. But I was like, man, no, it'd probably be like a punk band. Yeah? Like, I don't know. Here's the thing Sex about... Sex Pistols or like... Yeah, but here's the problem. Because it's all just crazy. You would think, but okay, remember we saw, we watched The Decline of Western Civilization? Yeah. And what did you notice about what they did sort of in their off time? Like when they were just chilling. Just sleep? No, no, no. Like, but where? Remember? They oh, had yeah. Like, that. like they had this like, it's like this building that like, I don't know. They paid like $10 or it was nothing to stay there. It was there. a rundown shithole. It was a rundown shithole. And it hole. had like graffiti on the walls and it was just like I just feel a like mess. I just feel like a punk band. You need to get closer to the mic. Oh. I just feel like, not that close. Oh my gosh. I know. So bossy. I know. I got to make sure it's right though. Um, yeah, that would be. I think that I think that would be kind of depressing. I think that'd be. It seems cooler than it actually be. I don't think they party all that much. I think they just sit around, drink beer, and talk about like how messed up their I lives are. I feel like they don't, though. I feel like you're wrong on that. Give me a band. I feel like it would be fun. What band? Like Gigi Allen? You don't want to tour with him. He literally no, is a homeless man no. who walked around and threw know. poop at people. I guess Led Zeppelin. Who else did? Was it Led Zeppelin? Pink Floyd also seemed like they were like bummers, though. Like, because I really love Pink Floyd for the most part. But, like, when I watched the documentary on them, they just seemed like they had a chip on their shoulder. Because they yeah. used to be poor, I think. That'd be so. I mean, bummer. like, Rolling Stones would be cool. That'd be cool. Too. Any, like, the hair bands in the 80s, maybe. I mean, if you want to yeah. party, if that's your thing. Right. You know, if you want to have fun. But, like, I don't know. Yeah. I think Rolling Sto- Stones or Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Um, you immediately said that? I immediately said Led Zeppelin. Just because I think Almost Famous is based off of Led Zeppelin. Oh, is it? I oh, it no. Is. I, really? I think so. I thought it was like Jim Morrison. No, I think... I mean, I think there's probably... So tired of that dog. I think there's like a couple different band influences, but I'm pretty sure that it's based off the story of when Cameron Crowe toured with uh, Led Zeppelin as like a rock and roll music, uh, reporter guy, journalist guy. Because hey, Jim Morrison would be cool. He seemed like The cool. Doors, that'd be cool. Yeah, he seemed cool. Be a bit pretentious, though. Like, at some point, you're just like, hey, you guys want to go get some pancakes? And he'd be like, hey, man, pancakes are a window into the demon soul, I know, man. but I think, like... Jim, bring it down a notch. No, Nobody needs all that. I think he liked poetry and that stuff more than he wanted to be in a band. Like, when was I the last think- time you wanted to... Like, you want to listen to that dude talk poetry? I like reading. I like You like Reddit. Stuff. You like memes. Oh my god! I used to read all the time. Poetry I books, sewing. Did you read poetry books? No, but I mean, everybody. I'm assuming, like, I don't know if you're an, if you're, I don't know if you're an author. You probably like poetry, yeah. and so I feel like yeah, I he's probably know. just getting. And he was probably pretty smart. He's probably a smart guy. I think he's probably like, a smart kinda, guy. I love the Doors. I like the Doors. I know. I kind of heard a thing on um on him. Mother, I, like, I want to kill you. That's what he said. Father! Oh You're too obnoxious. <laughs> um, how many... too much coffee this morning. Charles Sips asks, how many nine-year-olds would it take to take you down in a fight? Now, remember, it's not like these are toddlers. These are nine-year-olds. Um, like savage nine-year-olds. How many nine-year-olds could take me out in a fight? Yeah. How many would it take? I don't know. Like, I think 20 probably, could probably do it. Yeah. 10 or 20. You really? think? Because they're not... I'm feeling like five, because they're (laughs) nine-year-olds. You can go down like that, man. What the heck? I thought you were a bit tougher, to be honest with you. I am, but like if we're being legit. Yeah. Like, I mean... Five savage nine-year-olds. Yeah, it depends kind of what... like Because there's like some little bastards out there, so it depends like what their demeanor is. Five (laughs) nine-year-old bastards. Yeah. You're right. Like little asshole kids. Like they'll surround you if they're like hood, like they know. they're hood. Like if they already know. Like I'm thinking hood as in like... 
in, back in the day in like yeah. the 20s oh, in New York yeah, yeah, that yeah. like had to fend for themselves, slap on the street like oh, yeah. them. Those nine-year-olds, man, they'll take you down. Yeah, okay. I'm with you on that one. So five nine-year-olds from the 1920s. That I would say like, like 20 soft nine-year-olds. Yeah, 20 soft and, and nine even The then, helicopter like ones that are their moms are all like yeah. oh you no know, they can't have they, everybody gets a trophy and, and even like, then blah, blah, blah. even then it's like you just start kicking them left and yeah right. even then like be that's 20 of those man They're... yeah oh this is a good one jack dolan asks what's the biggest animal you can beat in one-on-one combat well for one thing i don't think it necessarily is the biggest because like like even like a really vicious dog is yeah. smaller than you. But yeah, you're but done. you're done. Yeah, you're done. That's what I immediately went to was a dog. Monkeys are small, but they can probably rip you apart too. I know. I don't. I don't really know on that. So the biggest animal you can beat? A goldfish. In <laughs> man, again, thinking that you're hardcore. No, I was thinking to you, throwing it to you. Oh, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could definitely beat a goldfish, I oh, think. Oh, you? I feel bad. Maybe not. I feel yeah, bad. I know. Like, oh, like, no. It's so helpless. It would do it with the sympathy. Yeah, exactly. It would get you. Um, I mean, I couldn't take down a skunk. Like, I mean, if I guess if you can withstand the blast well, of smell. Well, he's saying, what can you? I know. I'm trying to think of something that I could beat. A hamster, I guess. Like, maybe a cat. Oh, poor... Poor Harrison. Oh, we had a hamster. a hamster, and then Gypsy like barked Gypsy at it, and him then it death. scared him to death. That was so shocking. The day that Harrison, we found him, we were like, he was like just all. And then it took me a little while to take him out of there, yeah. and it was messed up. It was very dark. We put him in a little box though. Yeah. And like he was, <clears throat> he had a good send off. Stupid Gypsy. The biggest animal I could beat in one on one combat. I mean, I guess like maybe a dog. Like if you can with if you could somehow like if you're at a desperation if you could wrangle the dog to the ground and then like choke it out maybe. Uh. You're taking a chance though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't choose to fight the dog. Somebody put me in an arena of death with a dog, right? Well, I guess. I think that's Do what happened. Do we have happened. no wep- weapons? No, it was one on one, mano e mano. I don't know. Fisticuffs. I don't know. You against the Steven, dog. I don't think you could do any of that. Really? You are very animal, like pro at animal. You do I, not well, want to yeah, hurt I, I don't want to hurt it. I would probably sacrifice myself. I would sacrifice I know, you'd myself be like, for Gypsy. Ugh. She's terrible, though. She's uh, terrible. Let's see here. Uh, BP Sculpin Deathlock asks, roller coasters or water slides? These water days, slides water all slides. the way. Absolutely. Number one. You, like it's like a pool, but also a roller coaster. And number two, roller coasters are death traps these days. Yes, people are dying left and right about them. And they're—I don't know. I just don't ever feel very safe. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't like those either. Let's move over to the YouTube and see if there's any questions here. Turo six zero two says, "What point? At what point did you two become comfortable farting in front of each other? Pretty early, I think." I know. I don't know, man. You just don't want to admit that you fart. It's okay. No, I'm saying I. It, it was like probably right away. Pretty pretty soon. <clears throat> Which I wasn't comfortable with, like other girlfriends. So that's how I. Knew yeah, that. I know. Yeah. That's how you knew I was the one. You could uh, fart in front of me. People really. Now I. How do you get them to like not? How do I turn that button off? Like how do oh, you yeah. not fart in it's, front of the me? The floodgates are open. <laughs> so he just farts the, all the, the time. The floodgates to the butthole <laughs> are all can open. Can they be closed? <laughs> no. What man that or should woman be the question. is is <laughs> brave enough to tackle that? Right. The butthole. Um, People really loved last time the story about Larson getting into wanting to get oh, into the a bar, bar fight. fight. He claims that he had forgotten all about that. He and, forgot? And then I had to remind him about it on T on air. And uh What are you eating? And, and he uh, forgot about it? How yeah. did he forget? I don't that know. was the only time at our bar that like any yeah, like stuff went down. Weird. Maybe he was hammered, I don't know. Um, so Charlie Mercury asks, what do you think would have happened if you did have a super kick party at the bar? Like if I did have to throw that guy would have been like, he would have been beat up (laughs) 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 because we had how many of our friends there? Oh, I know. So, I mean, if you two got into it, like we had like what three other boys there, like 
it's done. I think, and I don't even think that guy was with me. It's funny because I think no. Larson, like, if, if me and him would have thrown, if he, like, started, if he, like, shoved me or something, I shoved him back. I think Larson would have turned it into, like, a gangland beating. You where, think like, so? me and him are, like, are beating on the guy. And I'd probably be like, dude, you're making this, like, not a fair fight. Right. But his bloodlust would right. have been so, so fever. Pitch. Right. He'd have been laying in the guy. Here's like, the problem with that, though. Is that real, reality always comes crashing down, doesn't it? Like, they call the cops and then I'd probably get arrested. I would think, right? But what a cool way to get arrested. Yeah, I know. You it's got a, in a bar I guess fight. there are worse things. It's not like I need a job or anything where I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like I can come on the podcast. Hey, guess what? I'm a real wrestler now because I had know, a bar fight. I literally had a bar fight. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, it man. It would have been pretty cool. I'd have jumped in, too. Yeah? While he's on the ground. You think so? Yeah. So a true gangland execution yes. style. Yes. And then I would have been like, you done wrong, you done wrong, the wrong motherfucker. Right. And then I'd have taken out like a six inch knife. And what the? No, you wouldn't. And gutted him. I feel like it would have made it super awkward for, because we were going there every other Oh, I Sunday. know. We could never go there again. Yeah, because they wouldn't want the Unless me and the guy would have forged a bond over Like our you shook hands. Hey, when I was in Arkansas. Once enemies, now friends. Yeah, I was in Arkansas. And in high school, like, they fought and then they got up and shook hands. It'd been cool. Like, that's the coolest thing because they don't have that here. Like, (laughs) after a bar fight, somebody comes up to me and says, Okay, Steve, so you won that round. What do you, how do you feel? You won that fight. How do you feel? I'd like to thank my opponent. You know, he put up a good fight. Uh, He might still be a little drunk right now, but I'm sure in the morning we'll wake up friends. You know, it would have been Danny. Respect for fighters. Yeah, it would have been Danny. Because it was karaoke night. Asking so, questions. Yeah. Respect for the other fighter. That's what I would have given. Anyways, ask questions. That's done. We ain't got no more questions. We need more questions. You guys need to ask more questions. Oh, we want... nobody, nobody's giving us the love. No questions. There's not it? good ones. Like, too many people are doing, like. The same question. The kind of the same question. Like, you guys need to stop with the. Okay, hold on. We got some more here. Let's see what we here. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, there's more. Xander McIntosh. Steve Larson and Lacey are hanging from a cliff. Oh, no. I don't know how this question resolves itself, but I'm coming out of this, okay? You have the chance to save one of them. I knew it was going to be that. Or be given a credit card with no limit that you don't have to pay anything back, essentially free unlimited money. What do you do? But who is this question? Hold on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. He's asking me. Steve Larson and Lacey are hanging from a cliff. So oh, I got I to gotta save you. Because I thought you would take the credit card. Yeah. And then me and Larson would figure it out and and get on top of like we would we would work together. You guys are not working. Yes, together. we would work together. You would be and then we'd both take your ass and we'd take your credit card. That's how that scenario would work out. You wouldn't be like, oh, I know you had faith in us, and now we have unlimited no. funds. No, you don't get those funds though. Why would I take it then? Like, I don't like the scenario at because all. Because you don't know that we're gonna work together. Like, you're gonna take it because you're like want the I'm money. Villainous. Yes. Right. And then me and Larson are going to be like, okay, we can get out of this situation. It'd be like this. And then we're like, let's split split the credit card. Hang on. I'm not going to save either of you, but I got a credit card so I can buy somebody who will save you. And then I go and buy a person. And they come and save you. And I'm like, now I own you. No. <laughs> no. You would have to still give us the credit card. Like, we still get, can make purchases. <laughs> like, your scenario is crap because why would I give up the credit card? <laughs> I, well, the question is, can Larson and Lacey beat me up if they teamed up? And the yes. answer is... Yes, we could. So not only could Larson not beat me up, which people have asked before, if he had a tag team partner named Lacey... I hmm, mean... No. I would kick, kick your butt, dude. I don't think so, man. Yes. You want some coffee? You're reaching I was going to have your You can coffee. have some of my coffee. Okay, yeah. Uh, Jack Dolan, again. If you see good questions from Danger Dolan. If you could rename any famous landmark in the world... Which one would you choose, and what is its new name? Any landmark in the world. I would go with the Leaning Tower of Penis. Oh, my Instead goodness. Instead of the Leaning Tower of Pizza, people would be like, or Pizza, people would go, oh, let's go look at the Leaning Tower of Penis. That's just no. What would you do then? Choose a famous landmark. What would you name it? I don't know. Instead of Mount Rushmore, I'd call it Mount Asshole. What the freak? Because those four guys are probably assholes, except for uh, even Teddy. Ro- wasn't isn't Teddy Roosevelt on there? I think so. It's who is it? Washington, Jefferson, pff, and they're assholes. And then uh, uh, t- is it? Um, Why it's Washington, Jefferson, 
Um, who'd I say? Teddy Roosevelt. And then who else? Who's on Mount, Who's on the Mount Rushmore of Mount Rushmore? <laughs> People always ask that. Who's on Mount Rushmore of basketball? Shoot, I don't know. What oh, yeah, and Lincoln, duh. Link, oh, he was cool. Lincoln seemed hella cool. Dude, he was hella cool. I'd say Mount I've, Three Assholes and One Good Guy. To a podcast about Lincoln. Good Guy Abe. So I don't have a comment. <laughs> I you can't think of anything. No famous landmarks? No. Uh, I know. Like the Tower of London, like... I don't know, blood zone or something. <laughs> <laughs> the blood zone? Because <laughs> it's like everybody was murdered in that. That's like, true. Everybody. That's good. That's see. That's a that's a better than mine. It was a bunch of juvenile jokes. The blood zone. Perfect. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, we've kind of answered this before, but one two sweet kid Taylor Tyler Wagner asks, "Hey guys, I'm looking to move out for the first time, and I'm looking at a few places." With the price of rentals and apartments around my area, I'll likely need a roommate or two, so I was hoping you can give me some advice on how to handle living with friends. <coughs> I get your I'll I'll suggest this. Get your bill situation. Yes, that's what I was gonna out say. Day one on a whiteboard. Do that. Like yes. what are you responsible for? What are you responsible for? When is this money due? When can I expect it? Right. That's, I mean, that's like number one. And then I don't know. Just make sure you're cur- courteous with the food. So if somebody goes grocery shopping, don't just eat all their food. Like you need to buy your own stuff and eat your own stuff. Yeah. Like because people are not going to be cool with that because I'm sure your funds are probably limited. Yeah. And so they're not going to be cool with you eating their crap. And then establish. Or if you eat it, go back go out and like get, replenish. Like don't do establish that. Establish house rules. Like, because some people are like morning people. Some people are not morning people. You right. need to be very careful about that stuff. Usually it works better if you're like in your early 20s because most people in their early 20s are like, you know, kind of party people. But like you had Marissa pretty young. And so that would not have worked with you. Like if you were in the house that I lived in in my early 20s, you know, you being there with a baby, you know. I remember I think when we were looking for a roommate a little bit later on, like... Before I moved back, so I was probably like 27, 28, 29, something like that. We were looking for a new roommate. And uh, Big Jim uh, had taken, like, we put an application out or we put, like, a notice out or whatever. And there was one lady who had, like, a kid. And I was like. Nah, not going to work. And he was like, dude, like, we could do. Like, it's it's fine. I'm like, I don't, I don't think it, it would probably work just ca- caused drama. Because also, yeah. like, if you, if you're in that situation, like. What you can't just do whatever you're not gonna want to like cuss in front of the kid oh, I know. and like oh, yeah. do that stuff yeah, like exactly. you gotta watch everything yeah so mm-mm. okay stop <clears throat> he was trying to be a good guy though but mine was like my apartment was dope because it's like the kitchen and dining room separated both rooms and we each had a bathroom like I had my master bedroom with the mm. bathroom in it and she had the one with the the other separate bathroom yeah so we really didn't even like. That always, I mean, that always shift. helps when you have to uh, share a bathroom. And we had, like, different shifts, so sometimes yeah. I wouldn't even see her, like, at all. That's good. Uh, last question, Blue Monkey. Does it bother you when the other goes out with friends? Would it bother you if they stayed at a friend's house because of distance drinking hour of night? No. But a lot of people, it's interesting how many people, like, do trip out about that. Wait, what was it? Does it bother you when the other one... What were you doing? Were you zoning out? What the <laughs> hell zoning. was that? <laughs> Man. I was thinking about my apartment with Chris. Do so you know like, how much she's like, man, that was a really good situation. I might have to get back into that. Um, no, I do the same thing with Larson whenever he's reading. Well, no, because one time she had cats. She found like a thing of kittens. Oh, no. And they like me out all night. And she felt really bad about it. And I didn't even care. But yeah. I, I don't know. I just went to that memory for some reason. Because yeah. other people would have probably cared. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't yeah. even bother me. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, I did it to Larson a lot. Like he'll read a question off from the Patreon on the podcast and I'll have to say, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I'm like looking for another question and he'll read the, while he's reading the question. I feel it like, totally defeats the purpose. I feel like I zone you out sometimes. So, you know, what's funny is that I know earlier that I was like, man, you like you zone me out unless I'm on your phone. I'm sorry, unless I'm on my phone, at which point you demand complete and total attention from me about shit that, like, doesn't even fucking matter. Like, what were you saying earlier today? You are saying, like, oh, yeah, your sister wants to go out, but I'd rather do something with, like, a double date. And I was like, 
Okay, I don't care. But you're not paying attention, and I only have a certain amount of time before no, I have to go to work. Here's the thing. I heard the question. I responded with the only response I know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Yeah, because you're not paying full attention to what I'm talking about. <laughs> Even if you I was paying full attention, I wouldn't know what to say. Because it's like, I don't know. That's fun. Okay, well, tell her you want to go out with me and... and no, I mean, I don't mind doing a girl's night. I wanted to know your input on it. Like, because your response on the text was like, oh, I can't go. And then she's like, no, you can't go. That was a joke about when I was. I know, but I was like, do you want to go or not go? Or do you want to do girls night? <sighs> oh, I'm, it's good. Whatever you, <laughs> whatever you want to do is good. You're just mad that I was on Twitter. You're mad that I can multitask. You can't, I, though. No. You cannot. That I can no. respond to your no. <laughs> question. No. Oh, we have Fallout 4 on this computer. We should play that. That'd yes. Be cool. All right, we'll do that. Instead of Heavy Rain? Oh, Heavy Rain's great. I'm loving Heavy Rain, but Fallout 4 is good, too. Oh, and you the good exhaust thing about, me. The good thing about Fallout... You think Heavy Rain's boring. Fallout 4, man, you're just wandering around the way. Oh, I love it, though. I love exploring. All right, well... Heck, yeah. Say about that. Heck, yeah. Do we have a question? Were we doing a question? Yeah, you were... I didn't hear it, though. That's what Because you this, were tuning out. That was, like, the whole fight. Part. Does it bother you when the other goes out with friends to drink and if they stayed the night at somebody else's house because of that? No. No. Because safety first. Right. I always say whatever you need to be safe. If you need to leave your car in a shady neighborhood, doesn't matter if you're drunk, Uber home. Right. Doesn't matter how much it costs. Because no matter how much an Uber costs, it's not going to cost more than the cost of a, a DUI. DUI. Exactly. So that's always safety first. Um, I only, I just don't like... Sometimes, so if you get drunk, which really isn't that often, but you come home, sometimes you're just loud. Even if you're not drunk. Like, because you haven't come home drunk in a long time. Like, you'll have some beers or whatever. But you'll come home, and it's like, you're so loud. And it's like 2 in the morning, and I'm like, but you're, like, naturally loud. I think that's the thing. You just come home late. Like, even if it's... I try to be quiet, which is that's weird. The you're so, it's so not... I swear you've got, like, tunnel vision or something. <laughs> Because like you know when you turn around, my thing is like when you're when you're walking normal like in our house, it's and really you, loud. And you step on no, oh. you step on something ah! But I'm like it was in clear view. <laughs> like do not look. Do I don't not ha- wear my you're glasses. Going. You're like Alabama. She does I don't wear thing. my glasses. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got LASIK. Yeah. We gotta get you that. I don't have LASIK. Yeah. I have glasses that I don't wear. My poor. So wife. then I step on stuff, and then he mocks me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, a, you know, then I like push you down. I'm like, ah, that's what you're you like, get. look, you're so loud. <laughs> you're so loud when you're falling to the ground because I pushed you. Exactly. All right, that's it for Steve and Lacey. And come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's the best. Can you see her? Yeah, oh, I can see she's her. such a jerk. She sucks. You're crap. Everybody sees. Your beautiful face. If, if Lacey and Gypsy were, were hanging on by a thread on a cliff, Gypsy would just bark at Lacey and they would both fall. <laughs> we would both. She might even bite me. Yeah. Because she's kind of rude. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.